Over half the viewers that watch my videos are not subscribed. If you love the game and like what you see, hit subscribe, click the bell and remember to enable all notifications. If you want to support the channel like these members and become a zombie slayer, click the join button and see what it entails. My social info such as Facebook, Twitter and PayPal are in the description down below. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys and welcome back to Simulator that I Darkest Falls Mod. So we're finally back at the base. Last episode we went and we explored a bit. Now I'm actually rather disappointed. I thought this map is going to be much bigger or... At least just more towns. Uh, at this stage we have one, waste, uh, one wasteland town over here and one over here. There might be a third over there hopefully. And then we have the snow over here. Um, we actually explored all the way over here and we didn't really... This is the end of the map. There's nothing there. So I don't think there's going to be any town or anything there. There might be one town over here somewhere. But since it's so close to the top, usually to about there, that's the end. So I can't think that there's going to be another town over here. Especially since there's no road leading there. I am curious though to see where the your eye is. We're basically looking for those who don't know. This mod has an Eve character, and she has a house now in Alpha 19. And I have no idea where to look. It has to be in the burnt bi uh, biome of here, but I don't know if it's like going to be right off the town or if it's close to this tech bunk over there. But what I'm going to do this episode is we are quickly just going to put on our proper armor over here. Uh, where, 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 where? It's still weird. To, it baffles me, guys. Last time we tested this helmet with everything except this helmet. So we had these four pieces and this one that was 100% uh, radiation protection. And before I went mining in the wasteland, I tried it again and it was just 80% protected. But yeah, I had to reload because of the memory issue. <laughs> because I was driving so far, I actually got stuck. So you know the thing where you get stuck in the map and it lifts you in the air? It actually shot me back so far because the memory just ran out. Okay, so we're going to keep all this stuff on us. Just do this. Guys, we need to go exploring. I already have more or less an idea of what I want to do for the new base. I'm going to just grab all the stuff over here. Um, I am thinking of doing a design very similar to this one. Remember, we do now have a ton of titanium blocks over here. And you can craft these. Where's the others? You can craft these into any shape you want. Like, literally, we could make the titanium block. We didn't have to upgrade from flagstone to cobble to uh, concrete to reinforced concrete, steel, reinforced steel, and then that's way too many levels. As soon as you get titanium like this, you can just craft any shape you want and go from there. I'm actually thinking of quickly going and upgrading a few blocks downstairs, but it's going to take way too long. That's 75 blocks worth of forged titanium, uh, titanium over here. So for this defense... Although, I want this to fail, though, so I don't know if I should waste the resources of here. Because I said, as soon as this fails, we're going to move to a new spot. At the moment, we just need to make sure this hallway where the zombies are is as protected as it can be. As you guys can see, this whole place is now still on the inside, which is awesome. Except the roof of here. But yeah, um, as long as these blocks of here, this whole window of here is titanium, and the walkway of here, we should be safe. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a blade trap destroyed. See, these behemoths, I need to find another way to protect my blade traps. If a behemoth stands here and it hits, just one hit and it destroys so much. That was definitely during the horde that happened, so that sucks. Let's just quickly check how many zombies are in the area because they're going to start getting in the way of here. But what I'm going to do, uh, let's just first clear out the zombies and I'll show you guys what I plan on doing. Hello. Technically, I don't have to do anything over here, any repairs or anything. Perhaps just floor where they exploded once. Uh, I think it's going to be on this side that the demolisher exploded. Damn, all the blocks over here. You actually see there's massive damage over here. I should just repair them and then face the horde. And also, obviously, the second layer of here needs to be titanium. And we need to put titanium blocks in over here. If we can just protect the front, just uh, this block, this all the way through the uh, second level, make that titanium. We should be good to go for this horde. Actually, we should be good for a few hordes then. I want to go to that future tech bunker, the small one. And see if we can't just quickly clear that out before we have to do it for the Eve character. I mean, if we can find the Eve character, we'll just do her chain quest. But if not, at least we can do it and then later just reset it for that quest. Okay, I need to make a better design, but I think I'm going to do it on the next design. This used to be pointing this way, but it hit the demolishers in the chests and yeah, that was bad. This way, the zombies are just too fast. Remember, it's nightmare speed. So before this thing could even hit them, they're already passed and coming over. That's why we had so many cops and uh, behemoths and demons and whatever whatever was here. We had so many of them here because they could just make it over that easily. 
All I have to do is make sure the electric fence posts are repaired, replace the blade trap, and then, yeah, like I said, make all of this. I must make sure that this doesn't get destroyed. I have no idea how this took damage, though. Was there a behemoth underneath here trying to hit up, or was there one on its stomach doing damage? I have no idea how just this one block is that much damage. So if I can just get that pole over there, because there's two poles over here, titanium, and then this well, wedge tip block over here, and a little bit into this side, then we should be good to go during the hordes. Or perhaps also the second layer over there. It's just so the demons don't think, or the behemoths rather, don't think, oh, it's going to be easier just to go through the wall over here. But yeah, guys, I need to go to that uh, tech bunker. Reason being, um, we might just get the rest of those red notes. Because remember, we need four more of those red notes. And we might just get a laser pistol. We need one. Soon we're going to start getting uh, demons, actual demon bosses like the Incubus and Succubus. Or just re uh, really a ton of the demonic zombies. And then we have to be able to kill them fast. Like insanely fast. At the moment, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Okay, I uh, just drank an energy drink. That's why my throat's starting to... It sounds... You can actually sometimes hear how my throat closes up. I'm trying to talk past it so it's not as visible. Okay, weapons. Um, I'm thinking of taking the quail gun with me. Especially since it's going to be a future tech, you want to be able to take the zombies out fast. So let's just for now leave this over here. And quickly put the... Uh, make use of the other gun. Like I said, we want to be able to just quickly go in there, go out, and then we have our laser weapon. Hopefully, though, we do get lucky and get a laser weapon. Okay, so we need to combine these two. The other workbench is downstairs. We need to combine those two, and then we need some ammo. Ooh, we really don't have a ton of rounds, do we? Damn, I need to make way more quill rounds. It's a good thing I just realized this, because Horde Knights would have come, and then we would definitely not be ready for this. But you know what, let me just quickly first go upstairs. It's going to bother me if the ammo is not starting to craft while we're away. Guys, I can't believe we are we're almost out of armor piercing rounds and normal quail rounds. At least now we do have iron. Oh yeah, that's something I forgot about. We do have iron, we do have lead, so let's just quickly grab a stack of here. Like so. Um get some lead. Ammo parts, we do have a ton of steel casings. We don't need that. But we are gonna need some tips. Oh man, I'm glad we have so much. I, I think we bought some lead from the Caitlin Traders. And now it's really going to pay off because now we can actually use them. Okay, so we need to make armor piercing tips. This is 221. Let me just check on this side of here. This is one. Oh, okay. That's way better of here. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to make a thousand or uh, 10,000. That's not going to use all the lead, not going to use all the clay. That's okay. We're going to have like 5,000 clay left. But yeah, I need, I need as much of this ammo as I can get. Just do this. Guys, I tried last episode to reset my points to get like get the grandpa's uh, forget an elixir, but apparently version 3.2 doesn't have it. I checked in. Um, I actually dumped all my wood loot, uh, the stuff that I wanted to sell, dumped cash and everything, and then I tried spawning it in because of the fact that that's bugged. That shouldn't be insta crafting like that. So I wanted to re reset some points, but it doesn't. It's not in the uh, version 3.2 anymore, and that sucks. Because I really wanted to reset my points. There might still be a way for me to do it. I just need to go check it out. I don't, I don't know what I need to make these rounds. Okay, we don't need any gunpowder. How much can I make? Ooh, we need way more quail batteries. Oh, okay, that's bad. Okay, we can make more quail batteries, I think. Let me just put these in production. Uh, these, these are armor piercing rounds, so whatever zombie comes across, we'll be able to kill them fast. But it is still actually rather bad that we don't have any more quill ammo over here. And let me just, oh, the battery rather. Quill. Okay, so we need, yeah, we have a ton of this stuff. Okay, we're just going to grab these. And what else do we need? Lead. Thank goodness for push to, uh, push to mute, guys. <laughs> I can actually just clear my throat while I'm talking to you guys. Okay, so I don't know how much that's. 4,000. How much is a stack usually? 500. I think the stack's for 500 just now, right? So that's not going to be enough space. Uh, I don't like that. If it's not enough space, it might just stop. Or it might just start losing. Sometimes it wastes resources because you run out of space. That should be enough right there. And then this side of here. Man, it's going to take up way too much inventory space. I'm going to keep the resources over here. So let's just do this. And then put the rest of the stuff away. This way we can just get rid of whatever we don't need right now. And then I'm going to cancel it and put it in there so it's there. 
we can't afford for her to waste any uh, of that resource. So what I mean by that is, guys, um, sometimes, say for example, this can hold 6,000 concrete mechs, right? Sometimes, uh, we, we're lucky when it pushes it over and starts crafting the rest that's over here. Sometimes when it's like a uh, thing that can't stack, um, say you craft 8 guns, you're going to only get 7 guns out. There's going to be 6 here, 1 pops into your inventory, and then you lose 1. And I hate it when that happens. That happens quite often, actually. Okay, so let's quickly go over here, just repair this one. Come on, there you go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It needs to be first the modded one, and then this one. Then the mods stay on the gun. Okay, and then rockets we need to put downstairs. We do have this over here. Oh, uh, yeah, I wanted to cancel this one, and then we're going to put these resources right at the back. No, we can't. Not in this one. Uh, where can I put it? Where can I put it? We could just sort this and then dump these in here. Like so. That should solve the problem. Hopefully we have enough ammo with this. I wonder if I shouldn't take my other gun with just in case. We could dump it in the uh, bike and then just in case we need it, we have a second gun. Because at the moment, guys, I don't know if they... Even though they're armor-piercing rounds... No, they're not. Even though they're quail rounds, I don't think they're going to last the whole experience. I just hope... Uh, we already uh, more or less know exactly where the wasteland is. So there's no chance of me accidentally driving into the wrong place. But I wonder, like for example, what's over here? Is there another town? Is there more stuff that we can actually get? We need to actually go check out in the middle over here. And then drive straight down. This is basically the bunker that we need. So technically we just drive straight down to here and then take a left. But I want to go check what's over here. What's in this, uh, this direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this road out. And as soon as we get to the first... Gravel path over there. I'm just going to cut straight to the middle and then straight down. That way we know we don't accidentally miss something. Before I forget, this is horde loot. Thank you. I should technically take one of those with. Um, a, a rocket launcher and this with. Just in case what we face is that tough. But I think we're just going to leave it for now. We're just going to check how this works out. I should actually, guys, we have all these points, right? Let me just check what I can actually spend it on over here. Um, Sue Chef. Unlocks coffee and beer recipes. Um, army cook. Jam chowder. See, these do not unlock the grandpa's awesome sources. You have to max them out. And there's a behemoth. There's a behemoth. Hello, hello. See, this is what I was talking about with the uh, wandering hordes. They now have behemoths in them. Did I just see fire? No, 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 no. I think it's he she's healing him, I think. But yeah, but yeah. Um, I said I want to tell you guys what my new defense is going to look like, right? We'll just quickly take these out. Hello, mutated nurse. Apparently, the nurses heal the zombies, and I never ever knew that. Okay, let's just take that one out. Hopefully, there's no bear or cops at the back over there. And hopefully, this guy dropped something really important. Please, 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 please. Uh, okay, that wasn't really that great. Oh, I think I still have loot over here from the horde, don't I? Yes, I completely forgot about this. I wanted to sort the inventory, but I never did. Epic. Okay, so, um, any red notes? No. Oh, we do have another purple one. I think the other one we have is blue on one of the two that we're using. Okay, so, uh, we didn't lose all our stuff. We can still technically sell all this. But selling this now, I'm sorting this first, and then selling it, that's going to be tough. Okay, so we're going to scrap this. Uh, let's just really get the ammo right in the right place. So we're going to put all this together. Um, that's still ammo... I just don't know exactly how many slots I need to lock over here. And then we can go from there. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then the rest of the stuff we just need to try and dump over here. Man. I can't believe my inventory is this full. I completely forgot there's actually loot in there. Oh, now I'm just happy. I'm really happy there's loot in there. Okay, so we're first going to go to this road over here. Guys, I really hope... That this bunker now has what we need. I'm actually going to see if we can't use the notes. Um, I don't think this bunker requires you to have any key cards. As far as I remember. And I don't think we actually have any key cards anyway. So we'll just have to see how this goes. I know the big one you have to have like red key cards, blue and green. But we should be golden just with what they have right now. I don't know. Like I said, there's so many pure eyes in the area. I have no idea if one of them is perhaps her house. What, what's it supposed to look like? Is it like a trader house? A normal... Will I be able to definitely see... Okay, this is a weird looking house. That's her house. 
or won't I be able to? That, that's the question. So I might have already passed the house and just not realized that that was her house. What's over here? Nothing. Okay, we're just gonna keep on going then. Like I said, we're gonna go to do this bunker. Um, for those of you who don't know, these bunkers spawn uh, spawn waves of zombies. So you can farm it and farm it and farm it. Or you can just destroy a few things and then you're safe and good to go. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, now it's 10 o'clock. They'll really suddenly break stuff downstairs, which is bad for me. There's a ton of zombies in here, it seems. Can I quickly get you because I do not trust you out here. You can actually hear the zombies, but then again, I think they already broke something they're not supposed to break. Which is going to be bad for me. Okay, quill gun. Oh, this is locked. No, I need a key card. And I can't break through this, right? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, I'm just going to go back to the base, grab the key card, and then come back. It seems I do need one of those green key cards, and I just completely forgot about it. I know there is a spot you can dig down. I'm just going to see if I can't fall in that way, but I might just get stuck inside then. Um, I can't remember if it's on this side or the other side. I know that if you dig down over here, there's going to be a room that you can actually fall into. Let me just do this to see where I am. See, everywhere there's a steel patch, you can actually technically fall into this place. So if I can get through the rooms this way, it's, it's the toughest way to go, but I don't want to go all the way back to the base just to grab stuff. The only problem is, this is still steel that we have to break through, so that's unfortunate. The problem now is as well, um, they are destroying the inside of this base. But you guys, the, the zombies in here do respawn, so you need to destroy the corpses. If you don't want zombies just continuously spawning in on you, destroy those corpses. When you're rid of those corpses, they'll stop spawning in and you should be safe. I might just die right now because it's already night time and they're feral and everything. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't swap this gun around. So we have access to our fire axe to just quickly destroy stuff. This one's completely reloaded and let's go. Uh, they'll really destroy a few things over here. See, this is the corpses I'm talking about. This needs to be destroyed, and they're going to attack me from all over. Where's the rest of the corpses? Oh, hello, hello. I really hope there's no behemoths down here, because like I said, guys, these guys just keep on respawning. Although, it's a nice thing to, do, uh, to loot these guys. You can farm these guys, which is really good for you. But, damn, I can't place anything down to protect myself. They're going to keep spawning in until we uh, completely destroy all those bags. Please drop some red notes. Or the green ones so we can actually open the front door so I can exit this place. Okay, bag over here. There's more zombies over here somewhere. They shouldn't now spawn into this room again because we've destroyed everything over here. Which means we can quickly... Oh yes, red notes. We need uh, four more. Please, okay, green one. We can now open the front door. Please tell me we're actually going to find... Come on. Laser. Oh yes, multi-tool. That's awesome. That's for upgrades. Please also give me an... What am I looking for? Um, red, more red notes, basically. Okay, we're going to have to fall into that room, guys. And that's going to be really insane. Okay, these are done. Done. Oh yeah, I need a laser weapon. I need a laser weapon. That's what I was talking about. Or thinking about. Uh, without the laser weapon, we can't take down demons. So if we can just find one laser pistol. Just one. And there's a ton of zombies upstairs, which means they're going to come in as soon as I am vulnerable. I'm going to be careful. Okay, this is just the bathroom. Nothing in here, right? Okay, green key card. So at least we'll be able to leave this place, because now we have the green key card. But I really desperately want a steel pistol. Only problem is they're destroying that room with all the loot now. By the time we get into that room... Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so they dug in where I was. Clever. That's really clever. Damn. I didn't even think about that. They dug like I dug and they came in through there. That is very clever. Yeah, but anyways, we had... Oh, yes, laser pistol. Finally. Now, if we face another demon, I can kill it. Remember, guys, without that, you can't actually damage the, the demons. They just keep regening, regening, regening. But now that I have the laser pistol, I can stop them from regening. Oh, yes, one more. Please don't tell me I have really shit luck. I need one more schematic. Remember that I thought I was still paused. That would have sucked. Come on, just one more, just one more. I need to be careful of all the zombies falling in. Oh, yes, three more. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. So they are destroying the final stash, unfortunately. So let's just hope I can quickly go in there and just clear out the rest of them. And then, yeah. Wait. 
The hitbox of some of these are a little bit off. It's really hard to hit them. Damn. They're destroying that whole room in there. Um, I'm going to have to dig in. It's going to be on the southeastern side. Southeast, southeast. Okay, so we're going to climb into the roof again where we came from. And we're going to dig southeast. So I definitely went up the wrong direction, but at least now we know this does work. So there's a cheating way to get through, but we are getting through. <laughs> well, it's not technically cheat. I um, mean, since it's there, you can use it. I don't think the the big tech bunker has a workaround like this. It might have. Who knows? But I don't think it has. Okay, so we said southeast. We need to go that direction. As as soon as we're above the noise, we know in the right spot. Oh man, look how awesome that looks! All the ember piles and stuff. I need to exact, uh, actually mark on the map where this is. Because next time, if I don't have a keycard or I want to farm this place, remember, you just need to keep the corpses alive. Or uh, the corpses intact. If you, if you don't destroy the corpses, the zombies will respawn and respawn and they just keep going. So it's going to be this side of here. I want to mark it exactly on the map so we don't lose this later. I'm disappointed with the amount of demons and stuff down here, but I'm really happy with the fact that we got all those red notes. Right there. Um, safe room. There you go. I just hope I can mark it exactly on the map next time. Okay, so now, as soon as as long as no zombies follow us, we can quickly go through here. We should be able to kill most of them from the top of here, but those corpses are the thing, guys. If we fall in there, and we don't destroy those corpses, we have a massive, massive problem on our hands. And I love this titanium pick. I'm so happy with the fact that I made a level 81. Okay, so, uh, before I drop down there... No other zombies, right? And then I want to do this. There you go. Now they can't respawn. The problem is, though, I need to drop down there with them. So if there are too many down there, we're definitely going to die right now. I wonder if there's a healing thing that I have on me. We could perhaps eat the stew, but that's not really going to heal me all that much. And let's jump. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, so we got it, you know, so as you guys uh, know, this is what I mean. oh, I can actually exit this door now. I have the, why did I just use the key cards? I looted the key cards and I completely forgot about it instantly. But yeah, guys, all the loot over here was now destroyed. So if there was something good there, that sucks. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, but yeah, uh, if you fall through here, guys, you can block this door off and you can actually uh, just take these bags out. When you accept the quest for the Caitlyn Trader, or not for the Caitlyn Trader, for the Eve character, uh, this place is going to reset. You dig down here, destroy the corpses over here, open this door up and just put something here that the zombies can't get to. And then you farm all the zombies that keep respawning uh, towards this point. So you can technically get so much XP and just kill a ton of zombies because they keep respawning, respawning, respawning. I think the best thing to do over here is to put like a titanium block down, especially since we have that now. I wonder, can you put blocks? Yeah, you can put blocks down. If I can put a titanium block right here, I can jump on and, uh, on and off and I can just open this door. And then I can just lure all those zombies around this place, jump back in, and then voila, we're safe. I think that's an excellent strategy for when we later need more laser weapons and stuff. Okay, so let's just open this up. Remember guys, we don't have the XP glasses on us anymore, the nerdy glasses. We have these ones. Mythic, Mythics, Dino's Shades. 75 loot bonus, extra quest reward options, and bonus quest rewards. Okay, not that great, but at least we got all the notes. That's really all that matters right now. So, you use these, you left click, or right click. Yeah, you right click and you open up the door. You can actually make these doors. I don't want to waste all these key cards now. Okay, we do have everything from this place, right? I got all the bookcases. Nice. I think I uh, looted all the advanced stuff in here. That's, uh, that's what actually might have been, yeah, more advanced stuff. Okay, but at least we got all those notes, guys. We can now make the final, um, the advanced class. And that's all I really wanted right now. Okay, um, can you close this door again? I could have sworn you can... Oh, yeah, there you go. So you can close those. You can actually make them. They're called sci-fi doors. Okay, so we're just going to grab our bike. We're going to go back to the base. And then we're going to get this future class. But now I need to see what's going to be the fastest way to get there. If I were to drive straight towards my base, except for the water over there, would I be able to do it? Can I pull it off? So I should have actually drove more in this direction. I, I think there's something there. I'm still looking for that Eve character's house, and it might just be there. Okay, we're going to mark the new base. It's going to be... Which direction? 
Yeah, now I need to <laughs> northeast. Northeast. Okay, it's on the map. All I need to do is quickly go there and we should be golden. I'm quickly going to make that future class, guys. We need it so we can start getting all the perks and stuff. Now, I have no idea whether you do the demon one, uh, whether the demon essences are still a thing in this game, um, or if I'm going to be using the nanites this time. I always use the demon essence, so I wonder if I shouldn't try the nanites. Although the demon essence one, um, I don't know if it's still here, but when it was there, it actually allowed you to run nightmare speed. And that's something I want, to be able to move that fast. I mean, imagine clearing places. You don't, you don't even, in a town, need your bike unless you want storage. So that would be really, really awesome. But yeah, um, meet you guys back at the base. Okay, and we're almost back at the base. Guys, I think this whole COVID thing has given me ADHD. I wanted to sh uh, show you guys what I intend to do over here, and I, ke I kept forgetting that I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so basically, I want to keep the defenses almost exactly the same. Um, I'm going to have this killing corridor over here. But what I plan on doing instead... Just quickly go up here. Instead of having these walkways so far away, what I'm going to do is... There's going to be... Oh, now I need to get in there. I want to show you guys this exactly. First, you need to switch that switch off. Remember that you only switch, uh, flick that switch on Horde Knights. If you, don't flick, uh, if you don't flick it off again after Horde Knight, this is what happens. It's not even Horde Day and I have to run around stuff. So we just do this, switch it off. Okay, so we are going to have these holes on the sides to the front over there. And then we're going to face, then we're going to have a hallway over here. Now I'm going to have to think of a way for the zombies not to be able to see me. Uh, whether that's actually putting something else over here. Remember, I just made this so we can catch loot. I don't care about zombies. The zombies can get stuck, uh, can stay on here and we can just kill them. What I want is a place for all the loot to go. And so that we can just loot the loot later. That's, the bags aren't in the way. So basically, I'm going to keep the design more or less like this. But I'm just going to have to tweak this a bit. Um, it doesn't have to be ramps. It can be a more flat floor. So I'm actually thinking of using the uh, the incline uh, wedges. Yeah, the incline, incline blocks. So those are the blocks that just go a little bit down and then go straight down like this. So that there's a little bit more of a walkway for the zombies to walk on and then the loot can just fall into a room over there. And then at the very bottom, the zombies won't be able to fall off. They're going to come, they're going to run up the staircase, they're going to turn, turn in, and that's it. That's basically the whole route. Um, so these walkways over here are going to be much closer and they're going to be an entrance from that side and this side. And then the zombies can't fall down here. They won't be able to see me from downstairs. Uh, they can't fall down there. It's just going to be a room for us to catch all the loot. And hopefully zombies don't rage and go for those blocks. Uh, but they will. Uh, they're zombies. I can actually do this floor level then. If we're not going to monopolize the fact that zombies can fall. Although, no, again, then again, if I want the zombies to be able to fall off every now and then as well, I might just have to make use. Oops. Just quickly kill this guy. Uh, if I want the zombies to fall off and not get on me too fast, I need to actually have it off the ground like this. But I'm just going to have to decide how high I want it. Uh, because I also, I don't want demons or behemoths to be able to do damage from the bottom. But I don't want zombies to be raging too early. I think at the moment it's like four blocks off the ground, right? I'll just quickly check this out. Just make sure. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can technically do it four. Because it's still lifted up, so uh, Behemoth should be able to walk underneath it and not hit the blocks from underneath. Um, because I haven't done that really over here, except if this was a Behemoth damage over here. But yeah, we want them to fall down, and then I'm thinking of making this a whole corridor, and like putting walls up, and then only I can get in here and putting turrets in case zombies break through. That way we can actually have the loot drop into a small room, and afterwards we can just go in there and loot all the bags. I want to be able to kill zombies. I want to make sure they can't ragdoll in there. That's a big problem as well. If they ragdoll in then we can't kill them. They, they're in a place we can't reach. So I wonder if it's even necessary for a room to catch all the loot. I can even make this a little bit shorter so I can actually uh, loot the zombies. So instead of having two blade traps, I can only have one. And then this is our, uh, just three blocks. That's how long this corridor of yours is going to be. We're just going to be able to loot the stuff. So the design's almost going to be exactly the same, except we're not going to go to the sides and shoot over there. We're going to go to this side and shoot down at them where they walk up the stairs. That's, uh, I think that's going to be a little better. So I just want to see over here, how wide is this place again? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait, what? 1, 2, 3. Oh, that's even base, right? Yeah. We don't even need to make an even base again. As far as I'm aware. We want a corridor that's wide enough so zombies can walk there. I wonder if I shouldn't just make it uh, an even base again. Although an uneven base is much easier to manage. 
much easier. <laughs> okay, but um, anyways, I'm gonna make a base. Anyways, um, it's not gonna be. I think this is 15 by 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, or twelve by twelve. I'm gonna make it about nine by nine or ten by ten. Obviously, I'm only gonna make the outer two layers titanium, so we don't waste all our blocks on just the walls. And then the inside is gonna be steel and concrete mix and stuff like that. And then I'm actually thinking of making my my actual base underneath. So for that, yeah, that's the uh, reason that I want to actually make it an uneven base. So in the right, right, right in the middle, we can just dig down, and that's gonna be our uh, our house. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to see if I can actually do that. Because if we can do that, guys, if we can make a nine by nine, and have our hole in the middle, we can just go down. Then we can make a whole city underground. Um, especially if the screamers can get to us easily, we can actually just use the auger and it's going to be much faster to dig as well. I basically, oh, then again, stone, I can one-shot. Except for resources like iron, I can one-shot stone on 100% block damage. So I might be able to even just use my power attacks or my, uh, my titanium pick over here and do everything. The problem is just now I need to decide where I'm going to do this. Because I really do want to get as close as possible to the wasteland. But I'm not sure if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. Like, do we want the zombies coming from the wasteland? Do we want them going away from the... Vi I don't know. Remember, at night in the wasteland, you get demons and stuff as well. So the nice thing about building very close to the uh, to the wasteland over here is the fact that if zombies see you, they're going to come... For, uh, the demons uh, see you, they're going to come for you, and then you can kill them and loot them because they drop a ton of loot. Unless I just make my base, because at the moment it's right here, right? I could just make it over here in this town. Just to see if there's a nice flat ground. They make close to one trader, two trader, and the two Caitlins. I should really just build here then because it's in between everything. The only problem, it's not flat. I could always use the, the auger, but I hate hills because especially a wood knight, the zombies are going to start digging everywhere and you don't want that. That's just going to cause way too many problems. So I'm going to have to go check this town out next episode to see what, uh, what's there. Okay, but first off, let's just quickly make this future class if I have enough notes. Oh yeah, it's just 120. Remember that I thought I had way, I needed way more. Okay, and we need ink. Uh, we only have one. But I think we can make more, right? We have black dye over here. I think you also need eggs and honey. If I remember the, uh, the recipe correctly. And we need to make it in the chemistry station over here. So it's ink. Wait, what do I need? Okay, I have everything. Oh yeah, I just need fuel. I have everything I thought so. I, I have everything I need, so why can't I see the recipe? Ink, there you go, and craft. We just need the one. Guys, now we have all the classes. All of them. Okay, so we have that. We need some paper over here. And a quill. And then we just need the bench over here. The future is now. Right then and there, now. <laughs> okay, so let's quickly sort our inventory while we're busy waiting for that to finish. It's only 12 seconds, so it's not going to take too long. Now, the laser weapon, I should... I don't know if I want to loot with that. Uh, because we want to save the the energy cells as well. I think let's just keep it for ward knights in case we get a demon. Uh, yeah, a demon boss, like an incubus or succubus. Because you shoot them once, and then you can take them down with these guns. Um, if I d deplete all the energy cells, I'm going to have to use a, fo a fusion forge. Well, we do have a fusion forge, so it's not like it's the end of the world, but still. Okay, and then over here, we put this in here. And now I can, I can actually make myself some of these weapons. We do have skill points, which is really awesome. Because now, especially since my level is level 150, I think. I'm oh, still 149, damn. Let's just quickly go in here, and we're going to put in some points into this. For the laser workbench, a laser... Okay, unlocks recipes for the laser workbench and laser bladed sword. That's awesome. Okay, this one is recipes for the fusion forge, nanites, all three tech boost perks, and all three bio boost perks. Unlocks power armor recipes. Oh, awesome. Okay, um, armor. Armor. Now that I think about armor. Um, let me just quickly check over here. Power armor. Why is that green? It, does that count as light armor? That's technically military armor. So that means if I go over here, let's check armor, armor crafting, scrap armor, steel armor, armor specialist. I don't know if it's this one. I don't think it's this one. Um, I'm going to get it anyways, because then we have it. Let me just check. It's still 31. So what do I need to do to get this up? Oh, I think it's the more of these classes, right? If I just keep on buying over here, but that's five. 
That's five points, guys. That's expensive. Tier 50 for future technology. So that's definitely going to be better quality. Unlocks a laser pistol and parts recipes. Adds entity penetration to the laser pistol. Awesome. And then unlocks rechargeable battery mod. Adds entity penetration to laser rifle. I just want this one. And we can't unlock it yet because we need a little bit more. Just that little bit more XP. So next episode, we're definitely unlocking that. I'm going to save my skill points for that. Adjust that. Guys, I can't believe we got that lucky just now. And we didn't even need these. So with these, I can actually now go and make more of those general skill notes. Which is awesome because that saves me so much of a headache. Okay, uh, just drop all of this. Yeah, so you're going to quit me. So yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, guys, that I'm missing anything or I think about this episode, anything at all, leave a comment down below. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just quickly going to sort out the inventory from the horde and then we need to repair the damage before the next horde. And then I'll have you guys back as we loot this town. We need to clear this town before we move to the new one because I want to make sure we get everything. We already got the outskirts and I think we... Yeah, we done, we've done that and that. We just need to do the rest. Yeah, um, if you guys are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.